half million dollars. They say he was plotting to kill Joe Biden. Today, our Mark Becker spoke with that former agent, and he's live tonight in Kannapolis at a bank where employees first tipped off police, and this arrest happened months ago. Mark? Yes, Scott, according to those federal documents we've been looking at, federal agents have no doubt that they may have intercepted a plot to kill the former vice president or someone else. But they might not have known about it at all if it hadn't been for alert employees at this bank who spotted a van back in May, parked over there in the parking lot, and called police. Inside that van, agents found guns, half a million dollars cash, explosives, and evidence of a troubled young man fascinated by mass killings, who agents say was at least considering a plan to kill former Vice President Joe Biden. They say Alexander Treisman had posted a meme in April saying, should I kill Biden? Then in May, he bought an AR-15 rifle in New Hampshire, traveled to a Wendy's within four miles of Biden's home with a checklist ending cryptically with execute. It could very well be terrorism if it's ideology driven. But it also is, is, you know, the former vice president and a presidential candidate. So that ups the ante, that, that gets people's attention. Today, Chris Wecker, the former head of the FBI office in Charlotte, said Treisman absolutely fits the profile of a domestic terrorist. He'd had a home in Seattle, but federal agents say he traveled across the country collecting IDs in several states, weapons, and downloading child pornography. When agents searched his cell phone, they found video Treisman had shot in April of the Mandalay Bay Hotel in Las Vegas, scene of a mass shooting. Three days later, there was video at Chicago's O'Hare Airport with a man's voice saying it would be awesome to hijack a plane. And three days after that, Treisman was at a shooting range at Fort Bragg. That was just a month before he was arrested here thanks to alert employees at this bank who saw a van that simply didn't belong. Sandra Harden is a regular customer here who knows a lot of the staff. I've done a lot of dealings with this bank for many, many years, and uh, I'm glad that they uh, saw that and was able to recognize something like this and call and that's something police echoed as well. Now, Treisman has been in jail here since May, but somehow we found out he managed to register to vote earlier this month at an address which appears to be an abandoned home here. We certainly didn't find anyone there today. Scott? All right, chill a woman. Focus My son needs this. Yeah, Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahala, Yahweh Bashem Yasha, Bashem Kwabadash. Double arms to head, apostles of great millstone. Shalom to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways, and always in this road abroad, all around the world through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yashai. So, what you have here is this Edomite, you know, it's rising up against his own, you know, because ultimately these Edomites, they want to stay in power, you know, they want Trump in office, you know, they want to keep Trump in office, they don't want no Democrat, you know, they don't want no. Joe Biden, that is so-called pro-black, pro, pro you know, as he um, shows um, Kamala Harris as, as his renemy. So the only reason why these devils, they're rising up now, you know, they're getting serious now. It's because, you know, of Joe Biden, you know, his running mate, you know, because since, you know, Kamala Harris is a, is a black so-called black woman, you know, so-called black, you know, these Edomites, they don't like that, you know, they don't like the idea of a pro-black being in office or being in power, so this is why they, they're rising up, and, you know, this is, this is why they're getting agitated, and they, they're gonna, they're gonna prepare war, and uh, this is the war that they're gonna do, so let me just get a precept real quick.
additional monks, man. So this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 14. And it reads. Actually, 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 16, so like it. And it reads, there shall be sedition among men evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor prince, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And a man shall desire to go in a city and shall not be able. You see? the course of his actions so stand in their power so these these average edomites they're not regarding their kings nor princes you know they're not regarding authority you know so this is why you see in edomites heavily armed you know these malicious groups such as you know skinheads you know these wo these watchmen wolverines you know kkk whatever you know white supremacist group groups that are out there you know they they're getting ready for this for this race war. And this is what we've been prophesying. We've been prophesying for many years that there's gonna be a race war that's gonna take place in this country. You know, there's gonna be a race war sedition amongst men that's gonna take place in this country. Where you're gonna have these Edomites rise up and just start killing, you know, Jake, you know. And that will be ultimately the most high using these Edomites to kill two-thirds of his people because, you know, two-thirds of his people is just wicked as all hell. So, we've been prophesying about this race war for many years from the head apostles on down, and here it is. You know, sedition amongst men, you know, the government. You got, you got this Edomite right here, you know, want to kill Joe Biden and not... And not to mention, you got various other, you know, white supremacist groups out there, you know, that are really, you know, taking charge and going up against their government. Because Esau's fed up, you know. Esau doesn't like the way things, that his, his society is crumbling down. And now they want to, they, they, these white supremacists think they could, you know do a better job than these Edomites that are that are in um that are in the seat of rulership. But this is all prophecy coming to pass, you know, and this is this is how we know that this this kingdom America is crumbling right before your very eyes. Because the scriptures all the scripture also says this. So this is the book of Matthew, so like you.
So this is the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 25. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And if a city and if a city and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And that's just that's the case in this situation right here. You know, in America, you know, because right now there's a great division. You know, they want to say united we stand, but America is no longer united. This is no longer the United States anymore. This is no, there's no unity no more. So united we stand, divided we fall. <laughs> so there's no unity no more. There's no united we stand no more because the state, nothing's united now. Now everything is all divided. Every faction, division, you know, there's a lot of division and, and hate in the air. And this is it right here. So we're in a time of Esau, Edom, his kingdom has fallen and... He's not he's not going to be able to put his kingdom back together again. You know, this is it for this is as good as it's going to get for the so-called white man. And he's going down, you know, his kingdom is surely but surely but surely circling the train. So with that, all praises and glories to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekwak Adash, double honest state at Apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the Yaki out there on the highways and byways.